with her mom, her dad, and her brother. When Rosa was little, she had to walk to school because the buses were only for white kids. Then one day, a white girl tried to hit her. If you hit me, I'll hit you back. When Rosa Parks grew up, she had to ride the bus to work. The back of the bus was for colored people and the front of the bus was for white people. And if a white person came in a bus, a colored person would have to give up their seat. One day, a white man came in the bus. Excuse me, may you give up your seat? No, I won't. You need to give up your seat. No, I won't. I'll call the police. Do that. <laughs> Rosa Parks been taken to the police station. They took her fingerprints. She did not stay in jail for the night because her husband came to get her.
Whatever color people heard what happened to Rosa Parks, they decided to not ride the buses, so they protested. bus for two years. Then one day, Dr. Martin Luther King went to the Supreme Court to tell the judge to change the law. Your Honor, we got to change the law. Other kind of people could stand in the bus wherever they want to sit. Finally changed. 